Hello and welcome back to Europe and Resolve 4. I am Tech and this is the Ethiopian campaign in Common Sense 1.12.2. Okay, so what are we going to do in this episode? Well, we have a little bit of time to kill. My truce with the Ottomans won't expire until 1640 and I'm not going to integrate Syria before then. So, we have a little time to kill in the matter that we can fight Theodoro for these extra provinces, for these extra Turkish provinces. Which I am really, 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 uh, I need to take these. Uh, unfortunately, they did convert this one, so until 64 I won't be able to convert it. But it's only one, and we do have religious anyhow, so it, we should be fine. Um, by the same token, these ones, Gosti and what else, they have been converted, I do believe, to Animist or to Sunni. Where are they? Okay. Alright, so for instance, Kobe, not that one, Kobe, ah, there we go, so they had been converted, or, not this one, yeah, this one, well, apparently I am, uh, costy, right, right here, yeah, they were converted as well, so we need to wait a little bit before I can do that over here, but, that is, besides the point, we have the, uh, Fyodoro, uh, provinces to take, so we'll just end up taking that. Probably Lithuania won't join because they are so much in that. Poland, uh, because they have that, so we'll wait for a little bit just to see if Lithuania will actually um, like to join us. Because if Lithuania joins, then I can uh, certainly fight against the guys. Uh, Nizhny Novgorod is actually strong, they have Muscovy and. Um, Novgorod as vassals. But yeah, it's kind of it's kind of interesting. You never see the well, you don't see the this one every day. Muscovy as a vassal of Nizhny Novgorod. Right, so we are just waiting for the uh, for the January to January month to actually check in, so we can uh, take the military technology. Uh, France is going on a rampage over here, which is fine. Not planning to go all the way there. Actually, I did say that we could conquer Europe. We'll see. I kind of want to fight either Portugal or... Right, so we lost the conquest against Mercury. That's fine. Can just get it back, and I probably should, because it seems like Mercury is actually going to win. So let's fabricate that claim. You guys should all be together, if I had to guess. Right, this is the army that it's not fully uh, complete yet. Uh, 16, 4, 10. Yep, 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 16, 4, 10, 16, 4, 10. I only have two armies. You have three. 18. Yeah, right. This one is the third one. Yeah, we definitely need another army. We have plenty of force limit. We will need another army. But let's start to get rid of the marks. 22,000 infantry. That is a lot of infantry. Right, so let's start to do that. 116 infantry. I'm fine with it being all uh, my manpower. It's okay. We can't afford mercs anyhow. For sure. And let's actually. I never created a, a template, really. That doesn't sound like me. 2, 3, 4. And I need 10 leather cans, so let's get to it. I kind of forgot to start my timer. Brilliant. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Okay, so Comedia de la performances, make it happen. We'll gain prestige, but lose a little bit of a min. Um, or lose prestige. Well, sure, I kind of don't need prestige, but it's kind of nice. Okay, so 564, take it. There we go. We can now build a star forge. We will probably have to increase the infantry and the artillery. A little bit soon, but for now, I do believe it's fine. I'll add Tunis. Uh, do I have full rivals? Yes, indeed I do. Great Britain, or even Portugal. Portugal might be worthwhile. After they take these provinces around here, I can go for a little war there. France is actually colonizing as well now. We've discovered a whole bunch. And, and yeah. Okay, so let's see, if I were to declare war on you now, well, apparently I am 
without getting a claim and improving relations. Let's stop that. See what I can do with these guys. See if Lithuania will join in. To wait and see. By the way, I kind of have to build stuff. I need to invest my money, otherwise I won't have a return ever. So over here, especially over here, we need to build these things. Right now it won't be as good because we have autonomy locked at, I do believe it's huge, 35%. But sooner or later, and I mean sooner rather than later, I will have all of the all of these provinces and single fantasy against France. Really? Ah, France colonize here. Okay. Neighboring heretic religion, so it's not send an insult. I think revelations as well. Where? Minus three. Uh I don't have money. Take a look at their army, especially me in Novgorod and Theodoro, see what I am dealing with. Theodoro first. Theodoro, I saw it here. 13,000. Nizni not good. 21,000. Ah, it's fine. I can deal with this myself. Nizni not good will join in. It will be just a priority. Uh, cleansing of heresy. Let's go for it. I'm going to occupy these automatically. Hopefully Theodoro will grab military access from all of these guys. Either Theodoro or... There we go, Ottomans are getting military access, hopefully Circassia and Georgia will, will do that as well. Hoping for it. There we go. Circassia, now I only need Georgia to give military access and we will be set. Uh, I do have 13 ships in here. Actually move like that. Uh, just in case. Five. I should be able to actually kill off that navy. Let's get to it. Go sign up has been taken. Let's go over there. Uh, Georgia should be giving military access uh, to Nizhny Novgorod, so it's fine. We already have a way in here, and because I'm allied with Lithuania, I should have military access to them as well. If not, yeah, I already have it, so it's it will be fine. Um, yeah, let's retreat from there because I don't want to take unnecessary attrition. We have five years to wrap up this war. Uh, so let's get to it. Um, Alright, so they are marching in. Good. Let's actually activate this one. And by the way, activate these two as well, just in case. I doubt it will be required, but better safe than sorry. So there you go. Alright, so they actually occupy that one. Let's start to move in because they are going to get here. Hopefully, I will catch them. Nah, I won't. I don't want to catch them there. Right, so nine, eight. Ah, they have of lights. I probably, I will probably lose this one then. And they have a lot of more ships than I do. Let's actually retreat then. Plus four ships. That's fine. Right, so they will probably try to move to Syria if I had to guess. So let's move in like this. I'll uncover Erzgen. There we go. So they are moving to Isil. This is islands. Fifteen. 15, uh, let's wait a little bit and then move. I'm moving there, so 31st, 15. Okay. I prefer to catch them here just so they don't get the that little thing. They're moving to Trablus. Right, let's see if I can actually catch them. They're moving to Sidon, so if I'd guess Gaza would be your uh, your destination, which is fine. Alright. Considering advisor, uh, but he has a good, makes a good point. Of course he does. Don't care for the prestige. I'm already at 93, so that's fine. So yeah, Gaza will be able to defeat them. Then we'll move in and defeat these guys, and then I'm going to move one army up there. Also, my army has not been built. I only needed one extra. Well, it's fine. Be careful with the revolts, but I am going to move this guy up here just in case. All right, so there we go. Wiped coastal desert. Sure. Let's attack, and they have more morale than I do. I have more artillery, so the fire phase should be mine. 
completely mine. Good. Good, good, good. And now we are flattening them like crazy. There you go, we lost 4,000, well, 5,000 men. 5,500. They lost a whole bunch more. So let's start to move these guys up top. This army kind of needs to recover, but we should be reinforcing, so we're losing a little bit of cash. That's not too bad. Definitely need to build more stuff. Right, so move to Konya because they will stay in Ankara. And then I'm going to move to Crimea. And then over there. I could vassalize uh, Crimea. Get Crimea, but I'm not really a fan, a fan of that. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. I am going to, however, get recruitment time. And then the land leader fire is going to be huge for, all, for us. Okay, so Syria should be able to defeat those 2,000 troops. I'm going, just going to wait until the reinforcement is about 90, 90 something percent of the way done. So Lithuania is Western. Call you to arms? Yes, I can. Good. Missionary strength. Wonderful. So Lithuania, join them. Grand. Right, so one more tick and I will do that. Let's merge. Not all of you. Help you move away. There will be a revolt over here. I'm fairly certain of that. Double faction 70 and 60%. Yeah, definitely going to be a revolt, but I have to deal with it. Right, so there we go. Let's move in. This will actually give me another tick, so hopefully I'll be at full strength. Indeed, and this guy's a 3-1 versus a 1-2, or 1-3, 2-1. Yeah, but it's fine. My ratio is better right now. So, let's move into Crimea and go like this. I like it. France is apparently fighting um, Poland, which is not great. But, they didn't fight directly, so... Poland, unfortunately, call to arms is not going to happen. France, call to arms is not going to happen. And I need to top up my relations with France. Let's just do that. And so they are actually trying to siege that one. Yeah, Naj and Syria are going there, so it is going to be fine. Start with the siege of Crimea, then we move to Trebizond, and that should be good enough. Uh, not occupying force in the area? No, not even that. Alright, so I only need the ECU for provinces. And then the money. Uh, Golden Horde, don't care. Release Crimea, don't care. No treaties, don't care. Or reparations might be worthwhile. So there we go. The other occupied Kanik, that's fine. They will go there and they will occupy it. Right, so. Right, so I have my troops in here, 2.4 attrition, that means no force. Yeah, supply limits, so they actually have defensive ideas. Plus they should have... No, apparently they don't. They're expecting, half expecting them to actually have... Um, what's it called? Uh, attrition for enemies in here, but apparently they do not. And why am I taking one... Ah, 1.6, okay. Sign up to Ethiopia, nope. What I want, plus your money, all your money. If Lithuania actually occupies provinces in Nizhny Novgorod, I will uh, sue them for all their worth, meaning money. Not going to cancel alliances with anyone. Poland wants a marriage, sure. Right, so everything was scored. That's we can convert one province. Okay, so let's get to it. Now, hopefully... Ah, they did core it, they didn't convert it. Good. <clears throat> That's 20 extra development. <clears throat> ah, sorry about that. That's 20 extra development, so we should be fine. I can't actually see the accepted culture threshold of the uh, Turkish, 
but um, I did made make a little bit of an estimate and we should be fine like this so yeah and I kind of have to uh, top up the uh, admin score though getting a little bit tricky hopefully my air will die fingers crossing right, so they actually lost two battles Jesus I shouldn't have I brought Lithuania, maybe. They're losing battles left and right. So we can do this. I will do that. I need to take up an admin as soon as I can. This will this will cost me 40 and 45. So 95 points. That's not too much. But yeah. Only a level 2 advisor here as well. Yeah, that kind of sucks. Of Crimea. All right, so Theodoro, you should be more willing to be soft. Probably you are not. Actually, it will kill off this one, this army. <coughs> After that, we should be fine. Um, what else do I want to do? Well, 37. I need to prepare the war. So let's actually start fabricating claims left and right over in the Ottomans. I need that. Um, let's see. Nine, sixteen. Let's so Hamid. No, Kthaya first. Kuthaya, I do believe Kuthaya is going to be the one required. Kuthaya. We'll start fabricating claim on Kuthaya. Kuthaya. Kutha, yeah. I don't know. Sorry about the pronunciation. It won't get any better. Alright, so 3-1. Yeah, we are going to be crossing the river, but it should. Have defensive ideas. Ryazan is actually the one leading. Uh, Alright, so it did revolt. Let's pop up in the pause, please, when it happens. Thank you very much. 8,000 only, so we should be fine. Up. Alright, so 44%, no diplomats to send. Let's recall this one from France. The alliance with France, I do believe, has its days counted. Or it's starting to be counted. Uh, Moscow, please don't fall until my diplomat gets you. Pretty please don't fall. Thank you. Ten years of separatism, ten years of separatism. We managed to win a battle. Ah. Right, good, good, good. Let's go for Theodoro and sue for peace. All the money. There we go. So, there we go. We made the peace deal with Theodoro. We'll start to core these straight away. I was. My words are not too much. So, let's core and let's. Now, these will revolt. So, I need to actually assign. I'm going to move it to Canic. Reason being is that Canic is actually uh, woods and this one is coastline. I take nothing. Um, I take no penalty by attacking in here and I do take penalty by attacking in the other direction. But for separatists, they still want uh, to rise up. That's fine. Probably assign the leader in here just to prevent this from being a massacre. Or to add to the massacre, rather. Leave these two behind. Just to get the ball rolling over here. Yeah, so these guys will actually win. Makuri will actually win. If I declare war on them, they should um, peace out. I don't want this. Uh, they should um, peace out with these guys, but I kind of want the vassalization. Let's actually start the improvement of the relations with these guys. Hopefully I'll be able to vassalize them through diplomatic means. That means a less admin point that is going to go to waste. And I kind of don't want to waste the uh, admin points. Korea cancel military access. Yeah, they wrapped up the war. They didn't take any...
37 percent of the income. This will go up. Really? Okay. So we occupy these two. Let's move them up there. Sorry, and I didn't. So they are different. I didn't and can sorry. They are good. Sure, Lolia, you can march through my lands. Uh, stay put, please, over here. The Starfort is about to rise up. And well, where do the Darfur again rise up? Berber and Bayuda. Alright, so it's here. Berber and Bayuda. Uh, I will station my troops in here. Just because this one has a fort, and as such, they will have to siege it. Treasurer has died. Okay. Ah, that was not the one. That was the level 3 one. Oh well. Right, so two years of waiting and then war with the Ottomans. To wait all of this. Let's mothball all the forts. Before I forget. Activate this one. Activate this one, activate the one in Constantinople, and one in my capital, and that will be it. Need the money. And I rose up. Of course they did. Ah, but they did actually reinforce a little bit. Good. Jesus. That was scary. And Jaws, sure. Things in Darfur. Move in there. Right, so you are about to be done with this. Apparently you are fighting someone. Pennsylvania. Attacker against the Ottomans. Yeah. The Ottomans are broken. Those babies are broken. They're still allied with Tunis. I was going to check something. I don't have a diplomat yet. If I declared war on Tunis, would, they, would these guys join in right now? Yeah, because they are still 15, almost 1600 buckets in debt. I really broke them. Alright, so let's take a look. 17 Maras, okay. Maras, Maras, Maras. I need a discount. I need to save up admin points, so this is why I'm doing this. So we are stacking a couple of good modifiers. Military well, leader died. Okay, I need to recruit one, one, one more. We are stacking a couple of good modifiers. So corporation cost minus ten. I kind of want the admin, but yeah, minus ten from the uh, from this one. In fifty uh, people. Plus, it's distant overseas, so it's a discount, a flat discount of fifty percent. Plus, we have claim, so it's an, an extra 10. And even even though, even so, this is 80 um, and main points to actually pour. And this one would be 76. It will drop down a little bit more due to the claim. And that's my timer. So I'm going to actually wrap up the episode here. Hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, please join me next time. So until then, do take care and goodbye.